here we have our Arduino Wi-Fi traffic light system. Uh, it's currently on a, a sequence of one, two, three, four, which is actually anti-clockwise, starting from the left. Um, I've got the mirror there so you can see what's going on in the opposite direction. I'll move things around in a minute so you can see it a bit better. Uh, the, the LEDs at the bottom right of the screen indicate uh, which set of lights is actually on, either on a red state or a green state. That is all they do. Um, I put a mirror in the background so you can actually see the reflection of the lights facing in the opposite opposite direction. Um, let me try and turn that round a little bit so you can maybe see another set of lights. I haven't planned this, so whatever. As you can see, that was number one. Now we come round to number two, which is the one at the front. And that we go anti-clockwise to number three, and so on. And they're all Wi-Fi connected. Uh, they're all run off little uh, NRFs. And I did create a test video for this, and I did explain how... Uh, how it was all connected up. Um, there is hardly any code um, in the, the satellite Arduinos, only in the control Arduino. Um, the only difference between the code in the satellite ones is a single character which tells it what pipe the information is coming down so it gets the right information from the control unit. I'll turn it upside down in a minute um, we can have a look at that. Right, uh, this is the underside. The Arduino bottom left corner is the control unit, which is just in front of its uh, little array of lights. The four other Arduinos, as you can see, they're not connected to each other. Um, the only commonality, again, is the, uh, the power supply. Um, rather than sacrifice all my Arduinos and glued them to the board somehow. Um, what I did was I decided to sacrifice a handful of 10mm uh, standoffs um, and hot glued those to the bottom of the board. That way I can take my Arduinos off and I take it all apart and it's not costing me a lot then. Um, there's not much else to say about that bit really. Um, they're a bit, of a bit awkward to set up to try and get uh, all the wires out of the way and to have all the, the power leads facing the same direction but uh, other than that it was uh, quite an easy setup. All, all of the boards are set up in exactly the same way all the colour coding for the wires is the same so that you know you can just replicate it quite easily. This is a fairly close up of the control Arduino. As you can see it's a little NRF module there is sitting on its YL105 breakout board. Um, I had to get a little bit inventive with these trying to get them to fit with each other and whatever. Um, the power pins coming out of the breakout board are actually on the reverse side of the board now so that they don't get in the way of other things. Not so much for this one but mainly for the other four because they were plugged directly into a breadboard. Um, what I did here was I soldered lots of um, six pin headers together. Um, the the bo bottom right side, which is the bit that's connected to the Arduino, that's a, a long pin header that I just bent the header pins and soldered to the board. And the other side, that is a short pin header, so that I can just plug things directly into it. I did use another long pin header, as you can see, right on, right where it joins the YL105, and that was just to give it a bit, bit of spacing away from everything. I shall take it all apart and put all the bits back in my box eventually. I tried to keep the colour coding right. Um, I did run out of uh, red cables, jumper leads, so I, I then reverted to some grey and white ones just to extend them out for the for the info board down the front. 